How much are you spending on your coffee? If you're a coffee drinker, I guess it's probably much more than what you would expect. Hello and welcome. My name is Peter B and I welcome you here at My First Million, where we are achieving our financial goals together. So welcome back to another video from our series, Finan uh, Atomic Financial Habits. Um, in this series, we especially want to shift focus toward um, the effects of even like a small expenses can have a big effect on our financial progress and our financial success over time. So today's topic, therefore, we are just covering coffee expenses. So for this, let me quickly switch over to my slides. So the first question is just, of course, how much do you spend on your coffee? If you're a coffee drinker, do you have any idea um, how much you spend every day on coffee? Of course, it depends how often do you drink coffee and where do you buy your coffee? And then you will get an idea of maybe how much on average each cup of coffee costs you. So, as this is a financial go uh, channel and we are always constantly working on improving our financial success, um, I want to take a look at the um, different reduction possibilities that you could be doing in order to optimize your coffee expense. So my uh, very own preferred solution is um, buying my coffee at Starbucks and buying not just one coffee, but buying the caramel macchiato grande. Um, I'm quite a sweet tooth. And if you haven't tried that coffee yet, maybe, yeah, I would recommend if you're also sweet tooth, try it once. However, a caramel mach macchiato grande is pretty expensive. Um, I looked it up in the US, probably it's costing around $4.25 per, per each cup. Um, but I know in other countries and it, probably also depending where in the US you're living, it could be more expensive. Um, for instance, in Switzerland, I'm sure it will be much more expensive than that. So what could, you, what could I be doing in order to reduce my coffee expense? If I usually, if I'm used to buy um, a caramel macchiato grande at Starbucks. First, I could reduce um, what kind of coffee I wanna buy. Instead of, um, the ma caramel macchiato grande, I could be just using a standard coffee at Starbucks. I believe it's called um, Misto, Misto coffee. And this also includes maybe the, the, I'm not choosing a grande cup size, but maybe the tall one. Um, that's also an in interesting thing, by the way, that the coffee shops are doing. There's not a small, medium, large size cups there's always like a standard size, then there's a tall and a grande. So it's always like a bigger and bigger, just for marketing purposes. But let's say I'm going for the standard options with the standard cup size. So it will be around $2.35 per cup. Then, of course, I don't need to buy in Starbucks. I can buy it at uh, alternative stores. Um, well, maybe there's uh, cheaper solutions out there. I could buy it at a convenience store or at a gas station. Um, at 7-Eleven, for instance, which is a convenience store, the coffee, a standard coffee might cost around $1.69. So around $1.7. So quite a bit cheaper than what you would pay in, in Starbucks. Then of most coffee drinkers like to drink coffee quite often. And usually people are maybe drinking coffee every day. So instead of buying and drinking coffee every day, what you also could be doing as a step number four is just drink less. Instead of seven times per week, just buy it twice per week. Maybe have a regular routine, starting your Monday morning with one coffee and then maybe have um, um, maybe another cup of coffee on Thursday to, to, uh, to help you get you through the week, through the work week, if needed. So instead of having every day a coffee, just have it twice per week. Then, of course, there's a another solution, an even cheaper solution is do it yourself. This is what Graham Stephan is famous for. His 
20 cent iced coffee and I, I believe that's a pretty reasonable price if you would um, be making your own coffee at home either at home or outside so that's maybe only 20 cents per cup so if you only have two times per week 20 cents per cup that's another reduction and lastly of course maybe it's always an opportunity cut out coffee entirely cut out caffeine entirely and go for free water tapped water of course that's the cheapest solution or maybe you're working in the office and the office is providing you free coffee in a coffee machine then don't you potentially don't need to buy coffee outside you can just drink it when when you arrive at the office um, of course you don't need to go through step by step one two three four five or six um, in order to reduce your, reduce your coffee expense maybe you can just make a jump still go for preferred solution but instead of having it every day maybe just have it once per week or once per month to, to give yourself a treat um, but I'm just as an example choosing this reduction um, steps here so how much does this cost us now so these are the annual costs for each of the um, possibilities that we take a look before so the preferred solution would be four dollars 25 cents per cup then maybe you have 365 cups per year so this will add up to a pretty substantial amount of over one thousand five hundred dollars per year then if you go for the reduced version means the standard coffee at starbucks um, you can reduce it to around 850 if you buy it at a cheaper location um, maybe at a convenience store you can go down to maybe 600 and one significant maybe more significant step than just um, going to the cheaper solution is um, cutting the time how often you're drinking coffee you see if you go from seven times per week to two times per week you're re reducing your annual expense quite significantly and again of course if you do it yourself um, and or at the same time don't drink coffee very often um, then it's getting start to getting pretty cheap with $21 per year and of course stop drinking coffee this will not cost you anything anymore for for your coffee expense so this is just the annual expense but then what does this really need, mean over a lifetime let's say you are um, a dedicated coffee drinker and you will um, drink coffee throughout your whole um, adulthood so let's say throughout your lifetime you have around 60 years um, that you are drinking coffee so how much does does it cost not compounded means if you just simply take the expenses here shown on on this side and multiply it by by 60 years you will get these results so the preferred solutions cost you over a lifetime um, 93,000 US dollar so 93,000 US dollars quite a quite substantial amount so this is at least for me at least two cars that I could be buying over over my lifetime um, the reduced options you see it's the more you cut back the cheaper it gets like a reduced option will be around 50,000 alternative less than 40,000 less often than just around 10,000 and do it yourself it's just around one a little bit more than one thousand dollars that you are um, that you are spending but of course this wouldn't be a financial uh, channel if we were not just also considering uh, the cost of opportunities if you remember from our previous videos we we are using the wealth cycle as the basic frameworks um, for improving our financial situation and the wealth cycle is a, is telling us that we are not just trying to save the money but what we want to do with the saved money is we want to put them into investments and the investments should then generate a rate of, uh, a rate of return for us so I for myself I always um, consider that I will I should be able to double my my um, my investments every 10 years ago or so 
And considering the rule of 72, um, doubling my money every 10 years would mean I would need to get a 7.2% rate of return if I let the, the returns compound, meaning reinvest everything that I, I will get out of from, from my investments. So 7.2%, I think it's pretty reasonable considering the average stock market return should be above that. Um, so if you are also considering this opportunity to cost, which is shown in the compounded column, you will see that the preferred solution actually is not only just um, costing you $93,000, but the opportunity cost there is one5 nearly 1.2 million US dollar. So just if you could use this money and invest it year by year, um, you would end up to on, end up with a very substantial amount at the end of si the 60 year period. And of course, even the reduced or the alternative option, the cost of opportunity is still huge. Even the less often one, you see it's like a $160, nearly $170. Um, this could be um, very a very significant significant amount in your retirement fund if you could have those one hundred sixty dollars added, one hundred sixty thousand dollars added to your retirement amount. Do it yourself. Even the the one thousand dollar here is um, getting inflated through com the compounding effect effect to nearly twenty thousand US dollar. So, um, of course, this is just playing with numbers. Never trust statistics or calculations that you um, didn't manipulate it by yourself. So I, for myself, I just use a um, compounding calculator. Um, I think it's the one from investor.gov that I used here, um, which I basically used as a savings calculator. And I used everything that I'm would be uh, saving if I weren't spending this money as the contributions. And you see, which is then the, the bluish line. And then the red line is showing the effect of the compounding effect. And you see very nicely over time, the longer it takes, the compounding effect is getting stronger and stronger. And the, yeah, the, the return is getting higher and higher just from, from reinvesting your dividends or reinvesting your interest that you would be receiving. So to sum this up, am I recommending or am I screaming at you and telling you stop drinking coffee? Of course not. It's everyone's uh, individual decisions. Um, however, this should just be a, a very good visualization um, for all, all of us that even a small amount, spend, spend it over and over again through habits um, can add up to a very substantial amount. Um, maybe you have some ideas now on how you can reduce your habits a little bit or adjust your habits in order to cut back. For me personally, I'm, I have been, I have been a, quite a dedicated coffee drinker, not really from Starbucks, but more from do it myself or drinking in the office, but even for myself, I try to cut back as much as possible. Although I also like to drink a cup, a cup of coffee from time to time. Um, do you have any other savings ideas or other tips or tricks you want to share with us and um, that has maybe bring us some benefits or the benefits to other people who are watching this? Please write in the comments below. I would be very happy to read your comments and suggestions. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I look forward to see you again in the next video and especially I look forward to see you winning financially.